Okay, so uh, we're considering this problem where we're given that SAT scores are normally distributed. Uh, the data that we have provided by the College Board uh, for 2009 gives us the results for reading, math, and writing, mean and standard deviation. Now, uh, here is the experiment. Uh, we're randomly selecting 16 SAT takers for 2009. We are asking to find the probability that their mean reading score was greater than 600. So uh, that's the same as asking what is the probability that the mean reading score for these 16 individuals was greater than 600. Uh, in order to solve this problem, uh, we make the point, we bring forth the fact that uh, SAT scores are normally distributed. So, uh, the, by the central limit theorem, then the distribution of means, the distribution of the variable mu, where um, you're selecting samples of size 16, will uh, be normally distributed. That's what the central limit theorem states. If your original distribution is normal, uh, regardless of size, of sample size, the distribution of the means of those samples will be normal, or is expected to be normal. So here I'm drawing a, the normal distribution of the means. So that normal distribution by the central limit theorem has a, a mean which is the same as the mean of the original distribution. In this case, for reading scores, uh, from the table I have obtained that the average, the mean, was 501. And uh, I also obtained from the original distribution that sigma the standard deviation is 112. Now what is the distribution for the distribution of the means? The central limit theorem says that that, that standard deviation it's given by the standard deviation of the original uh, distribution over the square root of the uh, sample size. In this case the sample size is 16. So we are in effect dividing 112 by 4 when we perform that deviation, uh, we obtain a standard deviation of 28. So what are we going to do? In order to find the probability that the mean score was greater than 600, we're going to look at uh, this uh, distribution of, of the mean, of the means, uh, and we're going to ask what's the probability that the uh, my mean score was greater than 600, right there to the right. Uh, so now we have a normal distribution. What's the probability that uh, the variable is greater than 600? Uh, we recall that we have to convert this into a standardized normal distribution for the purposes of using our uh, C-scores table. So we convert our score in our distribution into a standardized distribution. So here is the standardized score for 600. C equals 600 minus the mean of this distribution, of our distribution, our working distribution, over the standard deviation of our distribution, which we found to be 28. When we do the calculation uh, in the calculator, first we get 99 over 28. The calculator gives us a 3.53571, etc. Uh, since our tables have a limitation that C scores are only up, uh, accurate up to the hundredths place, then we run this off to the nearest hundred. When we, when we do that, we are going to get a C score of approximately 3.54. Now, to use the table, to use the C-scores table, we have to remember that the uh, outputs in that table are areas 
under the curve or under the normal uh, under the standardized normal curve to the left of the z score so here you have z equals 3.54 the table would provide will provide me with the area to the left of that z score now when you look at your table uh, and you search for score z equals 3.54 you find that it is in there what you find is 3.5 5 and up 3.5 and up you should use 0.99 as the area under the curve to the left so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna say okay this area is 0.9999 however I'm not interested in that I'm interested in the probability that the mu is greater than 600 which is equivalent to the probability that z is greater than 3.54 how do I find that? well I'm going to take uh, the area under the whole curve and I'm going to subtract this portion so that I can get what I want I want this area so that area equals uh, 1 minus the area to the left which is 0.99 9 which is 0 0.0001 so let's see what what we obtained we wanted the probability that mu is greater than 600 mu is in a normal distribution the distribution of the means I convert that distribution into a standardized normal distribution so I look for the probability that C is greater than the Z score for 600 which is approximately 3.54 and when I use my table I find the area to the left the probability that c is less than 3.54 so I subtract that from 1 to get the area to the right the probability that c is greater than 3.54 so that gives it me the answer that I'm after what am, I, what am I after? the probability that the mean was greater than 600 the result 0.0001 and that's the end of this example